Hey guys, welcome to Cactus Jerk. I'm Cactus Jerk and this is a hybrid involving uh, Trichocerois and Echinopsis Toralapana. The breeder is Rolf Autenried. The hybrid is called Zarwellen. And yeah, um, what can I say? It's a classic flower color that, that Echinopsis Toralapana produces. And it has a beautiful body. I want to show you how the body looks like in a, in a little more closer view. You can see it. You can definitely see that this is a columnar Trichocerois. So this is one of the first hybrids um, involving Echinopsis Pachanoi with, with a body like this. So this is, when it came out, it was monumental. These days, there are many other hybrids that have like better flowers, but I still like it a lot. And today I will pollinate these flowers. Um, one of them is already pollinated. That's this one, which was pollinated with a large yellow Trichocerol Shafari. I'm looking for a brush. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, what I want to do is I want to improve the flower and it's you know what can I do I could I could pollinate it with something yellow to get multicolored offspring I could pollinate with flying saucer which could increase the flower size and produce multicolored flowers I could pollinate it with a ruffled hybrid and yeah for now I chose one flower to be pollinated with a ruffled hybrid which which we will do now this is a a ruffled uvacala hybrid a ruffled cantora hybrid cantora gräsers erfolg and selbstbestäubung hybrid and we will pollinate this one with it pretty amazing hybrid in my opinion the flowers were just beautiful, really breathtakingly beautiful. So, um, I need to label it right away because when you are working with, with flowers, with different flowers and you're making different crosses on the same plant, you need, need to be careful that you don't lose, lose track of what you do. So, I cut me a label and, and some piece of wire and I wrap it around the flower. So I will add information about the, the exact label in the video. Now wait, I can do that right now. So it is, it is not a Uwe hybrid, it's a Reinhard Liske hybrid, I see. So Gräsers Erfolg and Selbstbestäubung crossed with Cantora Gelb. This is the cross number. Reinhard Liske 2011-2241 KA2. So Uwe Kahle raised it. But from seeds that came from, uh, from Reinhard Liske. So this is the first one. Next one will get flying saucer very important cross that i urgently wanted to make very important to to provide like to to bring flying saucer into this Okay, I think this should uh, be enough. I basically soaked the flower in with pollen. Once again, we need a label. All right. 
I need to be careful that this, this plant doesn't fall over. I will also make a cross with Trichoceros validus and this one. But for now, I only wanted to use pollen that, that I collected in the last, last week or so. Okay. wrap this around the, the lower part of the flower and I also want to make sure that this doesn't scratch my greenhouse so I'm, I'm bending the wire into the other direction so now we have one left all right um, I can now pollinate with Aporo candicans Shigra which is actually a good idea and I think I will do that Another one, one of these other buds that are opening in the next two or three weeks will be pollinated with a Cantora hybrid and uh, Trichoceros validus, maybe Orange California and for the last one I will find a suitable father, maybe something with Wurlitz, maybe a Wurlitz Cantora hybrid, something in that in that regard okay now I only need all right a, a brush here's pollen so this is Aporo candicans chicra fresh pollen that I collected a few days ago it should still be viable it was also frozen so it is very likely that this cross will take I mean if the plant has enough energy it has produced a lot of flower buds and when you have a plant that pushes so many flowers it can happen that it doesn't have the necessary energy to to form fruits so i really need to repot this one but i didn't want it wanted to do it now simply because i would probably uh lose a few flower buds just in the process of repotting it it's very difficult to to repot a spiny plant like this okay so um yeah i pollinated a second time with with aporo candicans chigra and i will also pollinate a second time now now you need to go um with with the ruffled hybrid by Reinhard Liske that was raised by Uwe Kahle. Okay, now we're good. The only thing that this flower needs now is a label, another label. And then I hope that it doesn't fall over. All right. Okay. Aporo Shikra. Right, let's wrap this around the flower. And in a, in a week or two, we might have some fruit formation going on. Like, you never know if it will work or not. But I'm really hopeful. A plant that pushes out so many go away now go away come on go away this is this isn't working go away go away hey go away you need to go now come on out out go away go away all right so I kept him from going into any other flowers. He only went into this one. So I will close this up right away. And yeah, then I'll, I'll hopefully keep the bumbler away.
All right, guys. So if you want to support me, you can do it at patreon.com slash cactus jerk. And you can... Go away. No, 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 no. You can't go inside. Oh. And yeah, you can get seats at trichetzeroist.net. Take care.